teacher Nova, your teacher in math. Do you still remember me? Are you happy to see me? How are you today? I'm doing fine. That's great. Me? I'm doing well. Am I happy to see you? Me too. I'm very happy to be with you. Are you ready to learn? Before we start, I am going to play a song and then you're going to sing along. Can you do that? Okay, great! Hello, 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 how are you? Hello, 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 how are you? I'm good. I'm great. I'm wonderful. I'm good. I'm great. I'm wonderful. Hello, 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 how are you? Hello, 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 how are you? I'm tired. I'm hungry. I'm not so good. I'm tired. I'm hungry. I'm not so good. Hello, 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 how are you? 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 Hello again, kids. So today, our lesson is about measuring mass in kilogram and hectogram or keep. Again, say with me. Measuring mass in kilogram and hectogram or kg. Okay, before that, we are going to read your vocabulary words. The first word is weighing scale. Again, weighing scale. Very good. One more time. Good job. Okay, what is a weighing scale? So this is a picture of a weighing scale. Okay, this is what we use to measure the mass of an object to identify how heavy or light they are. Okay, again, what word is this? Weighing scale, very good. Okay, next word is Kilogram, one more time. Kilogram, very good. Okay, what is a kilogram? Okay, a kilogram, do you see this one, two, oh, do you see these numbers, one to 10? You do, very good. So those are the indication that they are in kilogram. Okay, so for example, one kilogram, okay, say with, say with me. Again, say with me, one kilogram, two kilogram, three kilogram, four kilogram, five kilogram, six kilogram, seven kilogram, eight kilogram, nine kilogram, and 10 kilogram, very good. So look at the pumpkin. Okay, where does the arrow pointing? The arrow is pointing to what? Kilo. So the pumpkin is four, very good, four kilogram or four kilo, very good. So in kilogram, we can also write it in kg again. Very good, so that is the abbreviation for kilogram, kg. Okay, next word is hectogram. Again, hectogram, say with me, hectogram, very good. So a hectogram 
are the lines between the two numbers. For example, okay, we are going to draw a line to emphasize the lines. Okay, these are the lines that are between the two numbers. So for example, five and four, five and six, six and seven, seven and eight, eight and nine, good job, nine and ten, one and two, two and three, and three and four. So how many small lines are there? Okay, so we are going to count. Next line, after the kilogram, or after the kilo, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. So we have, so we have here, how many hectogram or kid? How many? Again, how many? There, there are 10 hectogram. Again, in one kilogram, there are 10 hectogram or kid. Very good, good job. Okay, so again, what word is this? Hectogram, very good. Or we can write it as HG. Good job. Okay, so we are going to watch a video clip. Are you ready? Welcome to my kitchen. Let's measure the mass of the four food items on the table. Have a guess at the mass of each object and write it down. Which item do you think is the heaviest? And which do you think is the lightest? Now, let's measure the mass of each object by placing it on the scale. What is the mass of the pumpkin? You got it! The pumpkin has a mass of 8 kilograms. What is the mass of the bag of flour? That's right! The bag of flour has a mass of 2 kilograms. What is the mass of the turkey? Very good! The turkey has a mass of 6 kilograms. What is the mass of the watermelon? Excellent! The watermelon has a mass of 5 kilograms. How close were your guesses? Which item was the heaviest? Which item was the lightest? Thanks for helping me find the mass of these items. I wonder what meal I can make with all these ingredients. Okay, now, did you like the video? Do you understand now how to measure mass? Very good. Okay, let's identify the mass of the objects. Are you ready? Very good. Okay, first object is corn. Okay, what do you think is the answer? Or what is the mass of the corn? Okay, so it says here it's in kid. So kid, so how many kid is in one kilogram? Okay, that would be how many? Ten. 
Okay, so before it will become one kilogram, it needs to have 10 kid, right? Because 10 kid is equal to one kilogram. Very good, so let's count. So this is one kid, okay, count with me. Okay, count with me. Next is two kid or two hectogram. Next, three kid, four kid, and five kid. Very good, good job. How many kid? That is five kid. Okay, always remember that in between zero and one, there is that is five kid and then one and two set so the between one and two is five kid also two and three that is five kid already okay so how many kid five kid very good next is onion Okay, let's measure the mass of the onion. Okay, where does the arrow pointing? Okay, it is uh, pointing in what? Very good, that is? One key. Okay, next is, is, Pineapple. What is the mass of the pineapple? Again. Okay, the mass of the pineapple is one kilogram and six kid. Good job. Okay, next is what is the mass of the watermelon? What kilo is this? Very good. And how many kid? One, two. How what is the answer? What do you think is the answer? What is the mass of the watermelon? Good job, that would be three kilogram and two kid. Very good. So you're doing great. Next object is a potato. Very good. Okay, let's measure the mass of the potato. Or let's identify the mass of the potato. So we have the arrow is pointing where? Okay, it's still not in the four, in four kg. Look at the arrow. Okay, look at number three. And then count how many kids? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and eight. Very good. So how many or what is the mass of the potato? And three kilogram and eight kid. Good job. Okay, last one. So what is the mass of the fruits? Hmm. Okay, look at the arrow. Where does the arrow pointing? How many kid and what? Very good. That would be two kilogram and how many kid? Three kid. Great job, everyone. You're doing great. Okay, so since we're finished already and you are doing a good job, so you are going to answer your workbook or your booklet and page 
six. And then you are going to measure or identify heavy and light. Okay, so next page seven, you're going to circle the object that, it, that weighs more. Hello, it's me again, Teacher Nova. So what did you learn today? Okay, you learn about measuring mass in kilogram and hectogram or G. Did you have so much fun learning with Teacher Nova? That's great! Now we end. I want to remind you to always wear your mask when you go out and then always sanitize your hands with alcohol gel. Okay, can you do that? Very good. Next time, once again, I am Teacher Nova, your teacher in math. Bye! Goodbye, goodbye. It's time to go. Goodbye, goodbye. I don't wanna go. See you later, alligator. Bye, 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 butterfly. Goodbye.